and now we wait. I guess I'll probably start now. There's no one here. People will get here. Hopefully. But just in case my chat happens to be broken and there are people here, welcome to the stream. We are doing Resident Evil 4 without saving. All S plus on all difficulties. I already have assisted done. We just need to do standard hardcore and professional. Hey, you guys are here. And yeah, the reveal. How do you guys like it? Because I love it. Do you guys have any preference on Leon's costume? <laughs> I'm a bit of a romantic guy myself. Also, Doggo. He should shut up soon. Uh, this is the only pose we have. <laughs> This on its own is going to cost me 120 bucks. <laughs> oh, hold on. Chat box is way too low. There you go. Now you guys should be able to see the chat box just fine. Let's get started, shall we? Hopefully all the audio levels should be fine. They're the same as last time. Hopefully I should sound fine. Same as last time. <laughs> You've seen nothing about this game. Sadly, you're not going to be able to see me break it anymore. 
fucking patched out everything. Not everything. There's still like a lot of dev intended skips and whatnot, but basically every glitch I used to take advantage of is gone. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Anyone I'm, I'm gonna be here for a while. We're gonna finish a uh, standard run without saving and a hardcore run. I can't guarantee any professional because you know what happened last time. But you guys will at least get to see me play through more of the game now. Rather than just going through the first six chapters. <laughs> a while, yeah. Well, I mean, every run is going to take me, you know, two to three hours, so. What was that? At minimum, I'm going to be here for like five no hours. <laughs> they seem to have fixed a lot of a lot of stuff actually as much as I rag on them for uh, patching out the glitches they seem to have fixed enemy AI and Ashley AI Ashley gets grabbed way less and it feels like I get grabbed way less <laughs> yeah when they make a functioning game like I'm not mad at them at patching out the glitches I'm mad at them at patching out the glitches that uh actually benefit the gameplay like the replayability <laughs> I don't like oatmeal Like a cereal without flames. I don't know. I, I feel like, in terms of games, there's like a healthy amount of bugs and glitches that should be able to stay. If the bug slash glitch in general uh, helps gameplay, then it should stay. And hey, you don't. You guys don't have to wait for me to get through village. I can just blaze through this now because we're on standard. Of course, grab her. And fix up the inventory a bit. Because I like doing this manually. I know there's an auto sort button. I don't like the auto sort. Hey, we already got grabbed twice. Three times. Got a decent chunk of enemies here. It's my lucky day. Oh, nice. Don't worry, Nico. I see your message. Uh, doing things. <laughs> And that's that done. La campana. Yeah, actually. Because uh, the thing that helps replayability and stuff is being able to skip out the annoying parts. 
Uh, because you never want to replay a game and be like, Ugh, this part fucking sucks. I wish I never played this game again. You know what I'm saying? But if you have a bug slash glitch that is optional and allows you to skip that section, well, now you no longer have that issue. Now, every single time you play, you're only playing the good parts. And uh, you just kind of remind yourself over and over why you love this game rather than why you hate this game. <laughs> But of course, when it's multiplayer slash PvP, you always want fairness. So even if it benefits people in the short run, patching out a glitch there is always better in the long run. You didn't know it was a SOM game? Dear lord. You need to educate yourself on Resident Evil. I mean, this game went from like... This is, you know, zombie horror, and now Resident Evil 4 is like action-y. Resident Evil 5, you're punching rocks in a volcano. Not even joking. But uh, th this remake, at the very least, is uh, more akin to horror. So, a lot less action, but, you know, still action. Doggo again. Again, he should shut up soon. Dog reveal. <laughs> You know, if I had a webcam, maybe. I would consider it. Now we come in here to grab the wheel. Group guys coming around. We're just gonna. Unless you guys come in. Yeah, like I said before, I'm also trying to like plan these streams while there's no one here. And, uh, all I thought there would be no one here, but I guess no one has work, so. Dog going crazy. But hopefully he shouldn't be too crazy. Also, we got good RNG. You guys heard me a lot of, like, heard me complain a lot when I was playing professional and getting bad RNG. Uh, getting bad RNG in standard and hardcore isn't going to be nearly as bad. We actually have auto-saving, so not being able to save is, uh, not really a problem. <laughs> But I would hope that we can at least stay deathless. I don't know, no promises. I'm 
most part, this is actually just gonna gonna look like a standard speedrun. What's that noise? I'm obviously gonna be doing a lot of things slower to make things a bit more consistent, but for the most part. That would be sick, wouldn't it? <laughs> Instead of telling the dog to shut up, just embrace him. I, I don't think it would be near impossible. I just think I would need... Like, samples of his distant barking. And then whenever the computer hears that it would just pop up the PNG. But it probably wouldn't work like 30% of the time. <laughs> Especially if he ever started howling. Check. Shit, I took my gear. <sighs> I just realized you're gonna, you have no idea what's going on. You just watching because of me. <laughs> And uh, we're skipping every cutscene. <laughs> Talk out <laughs> reveal. Well, yeah, if, if there's no one, if there's no one here and he gets lonely, he'll start to howl. I have to go out there and tell him to shut up because he's not gonna stop. of running in circles is so that he doesn't hit me. <laughs> Technically speaking, on this stealth section, we don't have to kill anyone. It just makes everything a lot easier. Even on lower difficulties. I'll be taking these back. And then the merchant. Who's well, we're gonna go back real quick. Back. So that we can kill the rats. All the rats are gonna be dead. All three of them. Cool. Now you might think that we're gonna stop at this merchant. However, we are not. We're just going to pick up the sniper ammo and leave them. Normally, we would bend over backwards just to try to get the sniper as quick as possible. Because the sniper was the source of very, a lot of the glitches. And uh, now it is not. It is borderline useless now. Like, it's not useless per se, it's still a very strong weapon. But uh, there's almost no reason to get it early. Alright, you ready for RNG? So the reason why there is possible RNG there is uh, dynamite could explode right there on the ladder, and it will insta-kill. Oh, 
So the less dynamite we have, the better. We don't like blue nerfed me. I've been hearing a lot about P ring for whatever reason. I know it's a pizza tower thing, but like, these two games are not even remotely related. <laughs> if you want to think about S rank being P rank, then go. It's basically the same thing. I never touched it. I don't have any plans to. <laughs> I love Minecraft, but like, I, I don't really like playing it all too much. I'll probably like play a single world for like 10 hours and then that's about it A tower of pizza. <laughs> Alright, so how many of you thought that I was about to die right there? Gonna teach the zombies to make Someone a pizza to show tower. up their neighbors. <laughs> oh, of course, he would. Of course you would agree. <laughs> huh. Oh, I also just realized. No one in chat is going to be able to slow me down because you guys don't know anything about this game. <laughs> You guys definitely need to play this game. Uh, I, the remake or the original. RE4 is an everyone game. You too, huh? Like, it doesn't matter if you're a fan of the Resident Evil series, it doesn't matter if you're not. It doesn't matter if you're a fan of shooter games or zombie games. You just fucking play this game. It's an everyone game. Slowing <laughs> down with the power of friendship. Have you guys read the description yet? Obviously, I don't expect you guys to donate to help slow me down, but there are free ways. Or, there's a free way. What? Hey, glad to know someone did. <laughs> no.
No, there's nothing more than friendship going on. Friendship is the only thing going on, nothing more. Not on this channel. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Good stuff. Church, I made it. Church, I made it. Nice architecture, Leon. I didn't know you could actually build things. Did you guys know that Leon could build things? Because apparently he made a church. <laughs> My chat started a family of four at 3 a.m. <sighs> I can't even imagine. It's like, that would be like, one of the weirdest communities, or some of the worst roleplay. Think of the children. I just got bored of it. There, there, there came a point where I'm just like, man, I, I kind of don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> That's how I lost my inspiration. And I feel like that's pretty understandable. I don't even know how long I did that for. Like, it was... It was a while. Like, a long time. Actually, we're gonna go see him now. So that's a... Welcome! <laughs> nice work. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. I'd <laughs> come back any time. King Crimson's your knight. Do you guys remember uh, where my name came from, Crimsonite? I'm pretty sure I've told you guys. I just don't know if anyone remembers. For gore. Okay, well, first I should tell you that apparently Crimsonite is not original. You know, many people have it. I thought it was original. Come on. But, uh, where I got it from is that my name used to be Crimson Absol. Because my favorite Pokemon is Absol, and I like its shiny form. Which uh, you can pretty much tell from my OC design. And then eventually, I just thought it was a little too cringe. Just, just a little too on the nose. 
And so I'm like, what if I did like a Mega Absol, but for Crimson? This is what I'm talking and about. And the uh, Mega Evolution thing is Ite. So like Mega Absol Ite, Beedrill Ite. So I just, in my head, Crimson Ite. I blew myself up. I was looking for that last fight. But, later on, uh, I found out that, uh, not only is Crimson Knight not original, but it's actually a resource in Dragon Quest, of all things. Like, are you kidding me? I thought I was completely original, and then Dragon Quest comes in, and is like, uh, we actually have an ore called Crimson Knight. Like, come on. What are the odds? Yeah, but then later I had to add the SP. And at the time, I, it was abbreviation for Smash Pokemon, because at the time, my channel was all about Super Smash Brothers and Pokemon. But now, we can use the SP as, uh, as a reference to the Game Boy Advance SP. Which was actually my first console. Well, not my first, my first handheld. I actually have a poster of <laughs> Game Boy Advance on my fucking wall. Not the SP though. I smashed the kind of sus. Alright, look. It's not really all that sus. Just look, look at local. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? Lopunny is actually kind of a funny one. It's actually legitimately meant to be sexy. Not even fucking kidding. It's based on the Playboy Bunny. And uh, if you know anything about Playboy, you would see why. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sure Delago could uh, could swallow him whole, if only it was you know smarter. Instead, it kind of just takes us on a joyride. I just have to discard these resources for inventory management. What is this place? 
the inventory in this screen Some kind in this of game is pretty shine. pretty small actually in the original you never really had to upgrade it so long as you were actually decent at uh, managing your resources in this game it's like it's like constantly full if you don't get upgrades I forgot one of the jiggles. What do you mean by jiggles? <laughs> I'm gonna keep moving forward until you can specify. <laughs> This is where knowledge of the game would actually be really helpful. So you could actually tell me what you want me to go back for. <laughs> Probably, it's hard to read and play at the same time. In which case, I think that says Jiggies then. In which case, those are not in this game. We would have to switch to Banjo Kazooie. Skim over the fish. Where'd he go? There he is. No, this isn't Banjo. This is Patrick. Get ourselves a golden chicken egg, which normally you can sell for a pretty high price. But uh, we're gonna keep it for a boss fight later in the game. Hop on the AI generated content train. I don't know. I just don't think I could do anything creative for it. The best thing I could bring to the table is like... I don't know, while I'm editing and stuff, use AI-generated pictures to like... I don't know. Explain what's going on. Kind of like what Doug Doug does. While he's explaining stuff, he'll just flash an AI generated picture. Sometimes it's funny and sometimes it helps. <laughs> Getting kind of bored. How are you not entertained? Game. Also, just realized I'm missing something. <laughs> Trust me, it'll get better. Also, did you just like try to type a bro hoof? Same mark from the church. 
With a dash J. Or is that some kind of typo? Yes, eating while watching. I don't know what it is, but if I'm watching something long, I just get hungry. <laughs> I have to eat. It's like a legitimate issue for me. Whenever I'm not eating while I'm watching something long, I'm just like, man, I wish I were eating. Okay, well I don't know what dash J means then, okay? I've got some new Wilk. Got some rare I'm things 24. on sales. You can't expect me to know everything. You're... This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. Anything else I can help you with? <laughs> a wise choice. I know. I say that. Might wanna yeah. Take welcome. I've got something. Thank you. I'll hand this over when you've got the space. Oh, fuck, it actually is full. A bit more dope. Okay, I can work with this. put a golden egg down there because we really don't want to potentially uh, select it. Eggs here. Leaves of sight also down here. And now we have no room Get for the sniper. Welcome. Wish your enemies sweet dreams from afar with a bullet straight through their heads. <laughs> We're starting to get an idea of your taste. We're come. Okay. <laughs> you know, I have to Anytime. apologize. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't keep up with a lot of stuff because let's be honest a lot of the stuff that comes up now is uh, pretty cringe although I'm slowly getting more and more respect for the zoomers because they're getting into uh, nostalgia now But like now more and more zoomers are starting to know what Dragon Ball Z is, they're starting to know what Resident Evil 4 is. for my imperfect aim. I am not perfect. It's harder than it looks, I swear. Dog. 
<laughs> the dog reveal was real. Okay. I guess it was real. I was Let's lying this whole church. time. You guys just didn't know it yet. See, Daga. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. In an actual spear run, we wouldn't save the dog. So that means we wouldn't actually, uh, he wouldn't actually help us out. But it, it usually ends up working out in the speedrun because faster. But however, it does make that fight a lot more consistent. That dog gnaws your face off. Ashley Graham, I'm here to help. Yeah, that's great, Leon. But how about you don't announce your presence? Okay. Now, normally, this is where we would have Ashley skip, and we can just phase through a wall. But they patched it. No more Ashley skip. No, come on. Not much to say. I mean, there's a lot to say. I just, uh, am bad. <laughs> bad at social interactions. I, I hope to get better eventually. Ashley, but... you in there? Like, I didn't even see the Mario movie or anything. I don't plan on it. I heard it's actually pretty good for Mario fans, but... I don't know. But at least something like this uh, gives me a bit of an excuse to not talk because then it could be like, oh, well, I'm focused on my gameplay. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Get the ladder. There certainly is Mario. Okay. I mean, apparently, what everyone says. Is that, uh, the movie isn't really much of a movie. It's more about just references galore. Thanks. Okay. So here's one of the ways that they fixed that, actually. It's dangerous. Stay close. I mean, they won't really do much for you, Harry Meyer, because you don't know. But, uh, <laughs> uh... Ashley in this game, even with armor, can force a game over, right? Uh, if she gets captured, she'll force a game over. However, in the original, it didn't used to be that way. Well, I, I should say, it'll force a game over if you're too far away and she gets captured. But they seem to have fixed that. He gets stuck a lot less now. Or he, she. <laughs> she gets stuck a lot less now. Sorry, we need to keep And uh, she gets grabbed a lot less. You don't really have to worry about her if she's in her armor. Except for like one section of the game that I found. 
that will force a game over, but because it's scripted. But yeah, like, normally right now, this would be one of the hardest Ashley sections in the entire game. Just because normally you always have to be on the lookout for Ashley. But uh, if everything works as it did on my first run through, like, it shouldn't even be much of an issue. Now we're on to one of the hardest sections in the entire game for all difficulties. Can I craft? Yes, I can. No, okay. Yeah. you shut up, we'd be good to go. So in the original as well, this was uh, not too difficult, I will say. In the original, this was actually pretty bearable. But, um... I guess just grenade here. This is what everyone in the RE4 community refers to as Cabin. Now, back in the original Cabin, uh, I think it was... Unprofessional, just uh, get 40 kills or something. Uh, and this one, it's significantly less, but all the enemies are significantly hard. Especially on higher difficulties, th this. This might as well just be hell. But one of the big brain strategies here in both games is just just kind of sit near the uh, stairs. Sorry, must have slipped. For whatever reason, standing around near the stairish, stairs-ish area is just the safest by far. Like not even close. Of course. Killing the mission mean. Well, we're forced to, or they kill us. Every time you get a kill, you'll have to something. One of the best, best views bait. I have to what? Oh, sorry. Aim to save your ass. 
blocking my way. Just die. Thank you. Now that everyone is going this upstairs, we want to block off all three of these down here. And then this will essentially force out the big bad guy a lot faster. All right, this one's good. Body block that. Alright, sick. Uh, I think I'm getting grabbed here. No! Okay, we're fine. He's down there. Alright. Gotta go! Out of my way! Busy at the moment. In like a couple seconds. Like we're done. But you know, I just inventory. <laughs> game crashed are you serious my entire like playthrough on professional last stream was just me saying this game cheats right because it's like the game is always against you it's always getting RNG against you what the fuck <laughs> even on standard I can't get away from it. <laughs> are like, are you kidding me? <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> oh yeah, I already platinum this trophy too as well platinum trophy this game well time to start over guys <laughs> this game is so against me from doing this challenge that it is crashing itself now No, it's not available on PS4. Alright, well, maybe there's an autosave here. Yeah. It's not my... Uh, I mean, it is my real name, but, like, it's not my full name, so you guys can't look me up. But yeah, that's my name. Please, for the love of God, at least be right before Cabin. Like, when is the last autosave? I, I feel like if the game is going to crash on me, I can continue from an autosave. Alright, it's right before Cabin. God damn it. Everything was going well. That was a good Cabin fight. Done warming up? Hope you stretched. Yeah. Now if you shut up, we'd be good to go. Fuck. Okay.
Dragon Gels. Only a cabin speeder on that one. God, it sucks so much. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna have to take it in stride. Hopefully it doesn't crash on us again. I have, like, too many heals. For real. <laughs> For once in my life, I'm saying I have too many. A lot of handgun ammo, too. Okay. The inventory itself looks fine. Now hopefully it doesn't crash again. So we don't have to do that again. Bye, Nico. It was nice having you around, but I, I get it. Your time's up. <laughs> like, it is really, really late for you. Yes, stay focused literally on fire, yeah. Some of these guys just die. Attention while there's a hatchet in my shoulder. Uh, did these guys really just run away from me?
camera's being really, really jank right now. Jeez. Sorry, mode stream. Thanks. No, I refuse. Minecraft story, but I guess. I just don't think I would personally enjoy it. Come down here. Get stabbed. Because that's all I can do, apparently. Board up these windows. This shit won't for a while. All right, this is mm, Punch the grab. Enemies got combos, and it's the most annoying thing ever. Out of the way. Oh, I literally have no knife. Oh, fuck. Not bad, right? Okay. Cabin done. Okay, it didn't crash this time. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so at least on console, it seems like we might have a an inconsistent crash after cabin. That could suck. I swear, I'm gonna compile some of these uh, stream clips and then just make a fucking this game cheats video. <laughs> this game cheats. Let's go. I hate it. What's what's gonna happen to me? Right now. Just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, right. Ugh. But all right, upcoming next, we've got the Bella Sisters. Bella Sisters are two chainsaw ladies. And uh, they're not hard, but they're not easy either. Some new ways. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Knowledge is power. Remember that, mate. Well, oh. get welcome. Well, what well, can I thank you? That's good work. If I do, okay. So um, myself. I think the only thing I really need to do is rate a fire. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Power of the shoddy is really nice too. Come back. It... And then now we just make flash grenades. Flash grenades are our, our. I can't speak. I'm glad no one's here. Flash grenades are our best friend. Neat. Oh my god. Uh. Oh. 
Alright, and because we have armor, Ashley, we should just be able to run straight past everyone here. We've got company. Keep moving, but quietly. Yes, we're doing this. Yep, she's got grab, doesn't matter. And we reached save point anyway. Alright, nice, nice. Twisty son of a bitch. We're gonna need to loot up just a little bit because we're running low on resources. Mostly just shotgun ammo. Sure is quiet. Sure is quiet. Just had to say something, eh, Leon? Never excited for Bella Sisters. Yeah. It's not that hard of a fight, just it's scary. Going up against chainsaws in general is really scary. I mean they do have the ability to one shot you, so caution is key. Stay here. What? Stay in here. Get in the dumpster, what? Ashley. Uh, okay. <laughs> Even though she has armor and she is literally invincible, we're still gonna stuff her in the locker because it makes things a lot easier. Thanks, man. I shall take my leave, but I hope to catch another stream in the near future. Not a problem. I'm looking to stream a little bit more often now. Hopefully, anyway. There we go. I am flattered. What am I? I have fun while streaming. It's just, keep in mind sometimes that, like, this is my hobby, right? This is not my job, and it'll never be my job. So, I like to just, I have fun, and I stream on my own. This was my job, like fucking hell yes. <laughs> I would adore streaming like every single day, but it's not, and it never will be. That's just fact of life. Actually, I want to keep the shotgun. Alright, normally you would have to flash right there, just because a lot of enemies come on by, but I might not have to. Where are you going? They might have given me just enough breathing room to do this. They did. Oh, you're fine, Ashley. Stop being a wuss. Alright, 
Bella sisters. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay. Make another flash. Keep forgetting. <laughs> Hurry. All right. Despite Ashley's armor, this is the one section where we still don't want her to get grabbed. Because if she gets grabbed and then you know thrown on the ground, it, uh, it'll allow Mendez to catch up and grab her. Luckily. That's just a super fast section. Listen, you're the one he wants. If we see him again, you run. But what about you? I'll do my job. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this. Because there was a newly a discovered reason, glitch. <laughs> and we'll see if I can even perform it. Welcome. 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 <laughs> Suit yourself, stranger. Welcome. Welcome. <sighs> Welcome. Welcome. This is looking to be in now. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. I'm still learning how this glitch even works. Next time. But uh, essentially, if you crouch right here in this corner and talk to him, uh, it'll clip you inside this wall just a little bit, and then if you talk to him again, it'll clip you out all the way. But I'm not entirely sure, like the inputs and how to do it correctly. Let's go. Hey. Which sucks. Mendez isn't a particularly hard fight. He's just an annoying one. Behold the abomination. <laughs> More flash grenades. You can never have too many. <laughs> Done yet. Guess your tap dancing days are over. Just straight then move. Oh, well. 
Okay. I don't even think the prompt like stayed on my screen for that long. Uh, I'm getting hit. No, we're not. Running out of options, huh? Alright. We are away. technically deathless still. Uh, Leon, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm going to say that. technically because the I game crashing you. is uh I promise not a death. <clears throat> For sure. Not even close. <laughs> this is not even my fault. I do wish I had a beefier computer. Wish I could stream more than just console games. All right, Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Especially for mods. Again, it's like I, I don't really know what I would want to really buy. Like TMP is probably that fine. Cash in your pocket or your life. We can buy the broken butterfly Easy later. Choice, mate. I think I would like the TMP. Your pocket. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna place it like this because I want quick access to all my heals and all my nades and all my guns. This gives me the best access to everything. Sell this. Oh, you cut through the crowd with that right. Oh yeah. Uh, probably just increase the power of the This TNT. kind of work is a god comeback. Okay. I don't know, this looks pretty decent. We're gonna get rid of the small resources because we don't need them. They're taking up too much inventory space. Okay. Any time. And now we're on the castle. By far, like, my favorite part of the entire remake. Castle used to be one of my more hated sections because it's so long and so tedious. There you go. But in this game, I mean, it's still long and it's still tedious, but it is far more enjoyable. Far, far more. You are dead. <laughs> I 
got catapults? I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. Ah. Fire! Alright, we don't have to worry about Ashley anymore, which is nice. The only thing we have to worry about are the catapults. And the catapults aren't even that bad. I say is I get to near death with them or against them. Firing again. Right, I want to get this one. That one. Hit the enemies here. Maybe we can hit the door here. And now this is a big pile of loot that we can't grab because we're on fire. Alright, we didn't really need the knife, but what else? What else? It's a knife. And we're done with courtyard. I know a lot of people have trouble with that. It's not that hard, you okay? especially with armor Ashley around. I'm... Even with Ashley, as long as you take your time, it's not that bad. Oh, and we're just gonna skim over this fight here. Come on. Activate this prompt. Okay. This works with normal Ashley too. You can pretty much skip this entire fight. Open it from the other side. If you run straight for that, enemies can't hit you. And then you can just run around the entire room, grabbing stuff until she unlocks the door. And the moment she unlocks the door, you're going into it. And then the enemies will unaggro from there. Which means Ashley gets undamaged and Ashley doesn't get picked up. Garador. And Garador sucks. <laughs> Good. Thanks. <gasps> what was that? Did they keep animals down here or something? I mean he's not too difficult to hit or like to fight, but like he's tedious. That's for sure. People call him a joke nowadays. I mean, he's still decently tough. Especially when RNG isn't in your favor and he just constantly walks towards you. Gotcha. Just like not miss a shot. There we go. Jesus. It's like I'm trying to miss sometimes. I get the easiest shots and I just don't adjust my aim.
we just come up here and like stop bashing. <laughs> Okay, and then like for this no. next section, right people rag on so. Resident Evil puzzles for being a little like too easy and stuff. You okay? Sometimes they just like don't make sense. But like, this is definitely a come on. Like oh boy, there's three symbols there. Oh boy, you have these guns that you shoot. I wonder how you activate. This one's pretty clever. I'll, I'll give them this. The knight gets the golden sword. The golden sword is used to kill someone. And now the sword is rusted. But before all that, he had an iron sword. I'll give him that. That is, that is clever. Yourself. All right, and now we have literally the hardest section in the entire game. This room is very, very infamous, even in the original. I mean, especially in the original. This is by far not even just the hardest room, but the most skill-intensive room in the entire game. Okay, I think we're pretty prepared though. Aside from rifle ammo, but I can make more of that. Yeah, actually, this shouldn't be that much of an issue. Especially on standard. But even on pro, it's not even that bad. Hang on, they're here! Ah, the entertainment! <laughs> Sometimes you get staggered there, sometimes you don't. It's random. Because we like RNG in our video games. The only RNG I think I like is stuff like positive feedback loops, stuff like crits. Crits in single player games is uh, pretty nice. Even for enemies, it's, not, it's usually not that bad. You can kind of just play around it. Doggo be barking. Okay. I think I have to get rid of this guy here. We have to go around, but we're essentially halfway done with Waterfall. Uh oh. Alright, we're fine. I thought I was definitely for sure getting hit there. We have Ashley armor, so she's fine, but she would even be fine with. She would be fine even without the armor right there. Because right here, all the enemies on aggro. And you can just very safely just uh, reload the autosave. Although, these guys are not supposed to be here. They are not supposed to still be aggro. This guy shouldn't aggro, but sometimes he does. Come on. Okay. Oh, 
we lost our one viewer. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I, I, I got this. I'll cover you. Don't stop. Bye bye, one viewer. You'll be missed. One thing I always hope for is just like, please, for the love of God, do not fuck up. <laughs> Keep coming. Just whenever I'm on stream, that's always what I'm thinking. It's just please, for the love of God, do not fuck this up. I think I did pretty good for Waterfall, actually. Okay, get back here. And then from here, it doesn't matter if she gets grabbed or not. You just tell her to come here, run all the way over here. Enemies will not grab her. Hurry up! And then you want me to make it this autosave. If she does happen to be grabbed for whatever reason, you're fine. You just reload the autosave. This way. Hang on. She's zooming. <clears throat> She's zoom. Should not have done this on an empty stomach. <laughs> Ma, kind of hungry. Something new for you, mate. I can sell the one emerald. Ruby's all perfect. You're a real professional. But we're gonna grab body armor, even if you don't, don't worry, usually I need offer it. It's well. it's nice. Gotta select pleasant. Um. Traffic. Actually, I will go ahead Welcome. and uh, grab the gunpowder that he's selling here. Un for shotgun shells, we're gonna need them. Get yourself killed now. <laughs> I see a lot of people also having troubles with this room in particular. A lot of my friends just like had issues. Oh, this guy's like really Sorry, not that bad. Oh, fuck. I don't feel so. The main issue for me is that everyone is just so bad. Oh my god, really? And then just like that. Even on pro, it's not that bad. The only thing you need to worry about on pro is just the constant grabbers. But as long as you're fast enough, you interrupt the cutscene. Uh, no one, no one should really turn. There should be no risk of getting one shot. So long as you have the shotgun and rifle ammo, you're fine. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Phew. 
last person I thought I'd run to. For whatever reason, I hated this room. <laughs> I could not figure out this puzzle. It's so dumb, I overlooked one detail. But then I went to go and replay this on standard, and then all these, I think they're called lithographs, yeah. All these slabs were just in different places. And it's just like, why? I'm already blinking. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I, I got stuck on this once, and then never again. I'm that stuck. Do it. All right. Need I swear, action. guys, I'm not stupid. But, you know, may maybe just a little idiotic. Oh, great. Just a little. I will use a flash here because I really don't want to deal with these guys. Christ. Out of the way. And we're done. Alright, cool. Hello, stranger. Hello, stranger. Flash. She said meeting you once was enough. You don't always need a flash right here. It's just really handy. I guess we're killing everyone right here, jeez. Okay, so the thing that I was trying to shoot, it didn't want to do anything. Well, if I take the laser sight off, I swear to god, if this makes it more consistent... This makes it more consistent. It makes it more consistent. Oh my god. Alright, for once we want blue. Got it. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Waste all that time and ammo. You guys are really starting to become a giant pain in my ass. Of course. RNG. RNG again. He didn't even throw it in my position. Shoot this guy. And if RNG is on our side again. We should be able to get through this, no problem. What do you know? RNG was on our side. Yes. Cannon. Hope 
works. Can't skip that. <laughs> you cannot skip that. All right. Open for traffic. Oh, okay. Ashley. Okay, this part can suck. Since we do have Ashley in armor, uh, she can't be touched by all the dogs. However, on the way out, uh, if she happens to get grabbed by a certain enemy, it'll force a game over. So we don't want that to happen. But if we also don't kill any of the dogs, her pathfinding might be a little wonky. We'll see, we'll see, we'll risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. Can't believe that guy. He's in trouble. We can't just leave him, right? I still can't believe this game crashed on me. Fucking for real. Can't believe it. Hey, look! The flag's been lowered! Hey, look! The flag has been lowered. Doggo, we don't care. We're just running past him. Keep your dogs on a leash, people. The dogs finally caught up to me. I feel like when we do hardcore, we're definitely doing a lot of these sections a lot slower. Like, we are not going to take any BS for our hardcore run. Okay, I should be able to grab the flash grenade there. Yes, indeed. Hold this down. Okay. We don't have any green herbs. Where we don't heal, we're potentially going to die to the big guy. See what you'll do this time. Are you gonna get stuck on everyone? Or will you fucking cooperate? Ashley, run! The enemy that I killed there is the one that forces the game over if she happens to get grabbed. If we stand up here, everything should be fine. Where are you going? Uh, 
actually moved for like a, a second. Alright, let's see if it forces game over. I killed the one scripted enemy. Will it force game over here? It does. Okay, so maybe there's two scripted enemies. Now we gotta find those two scripted enemies. Oh, it might be the ones at the start. The ones that I flash and I just didn't kill one. Maybe if I kill both of them, she'll just run straight to me. And it's not gonna force the game over. Let's try that. Ashley, run! Of course. Okay. That's both of the potential scripted enemies gone. And she's just still not coming to us. But why? Why is Ashley not coming to us? Okay. That's one thing we need to figure out. What is preventing her from coming towards me? It's not the enemies. Tell you what, it's not the end. Hold on, I'll take care of him. We got her though. I don't know, maybe you do need to stun all four enemies at the very least, but. Sometimes she just straight doesn't get stuck there. I'm fine. Ballroom must be this way. There it is. Look, there's a statue up there. There's a statue up there. Okay. Uh, we don't have any flashers or anything, so we're not doing gallery. Huh. The dining hall. Eat here? No thanks. <laughs> Eat here? No thanks. Leon! Looks like we figured it out. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Maybe you did figure it out. But maybe you didn't. Onwards to the armor. The armor, just knights. <laughs> the knights of the frozen throne. Except it's not frozen, and it's very much heated in there. For my taste. <laughs> Too bad. I think you'd look pretty dashing. Ah, you thought I would miss the medallion? No. You get better vantage point there. <laughs> Come on, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. Oh, but they very much are. Okay. We have three flashes that we can use on these guys. Well, we have two flashes we can use on these guys. We have to save the third one. Look 
Luckily for us, the knights aren't really much of an issue. I say as I get stabbed. <laughs> incident karma. <laughs> Fucking incident. Shit, that hit me. Okay. Oh, wait, the third one can just step off the pedestal like that? Wait, I've never seen that happen before. Since when? Do you just, if you just take too long, do the enemy others just kind of join in? That's interesting. That is very interesting. Never do. Then there's still three, right? Yeah. I don't think they like the land fire. What was your first clip? Let's see if I can do this correctly. They're gonna move, do you? Because if we're if we're good at this throw, we're fine. If we're not good at this throw, we're not fine. This is definitely a throw that I need to memorize. Especially for pro where we can't load up autosaves. Correctly, you don't actually need to kill him, you just need to stun him. I see a lot of people that actively go out, out of the way to shoot the guy who pulls the lever, but pretty certain you don't need to do anything. Oh, one shotgun shot, is that enough? That's enough. There we go. Okay. I missed a medallion somewhere. I missed it in the dining room, did I? Did. I'm usually pretty good about that one. Ugh. All right, actually time.
Actually, segment isn't too bad either. A lot of people complain about it. It ain't that bad. Especially with armor, but we don't we don't need armor actually for this. Oh, we don't even need to stun the knights. We can just run straight past them. They're all programmed to do the same attack. The only time... Okay, the, the attack that they're programmed to do is always like the overhead slash that takes ages to go for. But the second attack they go for is a very quick, not dodgeable one for Ashley. And the only way they do that is if they're breaking something. Otherwise, if they're targeting Ashley, they will always do the overhead swing, which will pretty much always miss. Unless you're just, like, afraid of them. Or you're running straight. But if you're running diagonally... Uh, diag diagonally, away from them or diagonally at them, they'll always miss. Never fail. Thank God. I am done with armor. Didn't I just say I was done? Yes, you did. This sucks! Oh, you know what I mean? I feel like... Because at this at this point when I have no viewers, uh, it it feels awkward to just kind of talk to myself. But I do know that I need some sort of way to just talk. Uh, not only for entertaining for anyone who might possibly come in, heck? but also just keep myself sane. I don't want to stay silent the whole time. I need to do this with a friend. I need to like a live stream with someone so that I can actually have someone to talk to the entire time. <laughs> I'm just losing my sanity. No, no, don't go out. Again. Yo, Matthew. I was, I don't know, what were you doing? Eating? Okay. How was your lunch, Good breakfast, nice. something? Stay still. <laughs> You'd be happy to know that we have not died. If we were doing this on Pro, I mean, we would have had to start over again, but because game crash. But if we were on Pro right now, that we would have been farther than we ever have been. Ah, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. gotta always complete uh, I was gonna say complete work I, I guess it is work school work but, like, you gotta focus on life above all else and then Pokemon Violet it's a good game it is it launched in the worst state any game that could possibly be in and for that it's like dear lord I hate it, but also, dear lord, I put a hundred hours into that game and I loved every second of it. It's such a good game. Despite all of its flaws, it's such a good game. <laughs> game crashes don't make no fucking sense, man. Same 
as ever. Just throw in a ball. And then keep crash. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't know. Were you here for the... For uh, my game to crash? I think my game crashed about an hour and 20 minutes ago. I was about 50 minutes in. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know, like, you stuck around for a little while, so I didn't know how long. So, if, if you know RE at all, or RE4, you should know about Cabin. One of the more infamous places in the uh, both games. Uh, the moment I completed Cabin, it crashed. Like, straight up. I skipped the cutscene, crash. Shit, my body armor. Like, come on. <laughs> like, we already, we already knew this game was out to get me during uh, my pro playthrough. But, like, even on standard, the game just crashed. It's so against me, it just decided to just go bye-bye. The game doesn't even want me to play it. It's kind of good though. I, I feel like I gotta go through some of these streams and like turn them into a video. And I feel like my first video in this game <laughs> is going to just be how much of a buggy mess it is. Just like showcase all of the ways it screwed me over. Oh fuck. I didn't grab the broken butterfly, which makes this section infinitely easier. Uh, I guess I go back for it. It will be a lot better. Merchant's not too far away. Maybe I grab the first aid spray from him too. <laughs> the Vista doors in this game usually don't hit you all too often. If you get hit often while running past them, you can't, that's just bad RNG. Uh, I guess what I got? The request. Well done. I feel like you and I both know at this point, like, my RNG sucks. <laughs> and it'll just, it'll, it'll always suck. Something new. <laughs> Thank you. Broken butterfly. I see you have an eye for things. Repair. Guns not just no a repair for that. Welcome. Uh. Oh, oh red I barrel. You'd choose that one. <laughs> the treasure and gunpowder. <laughs> Don't get. Yeah. Get yourself killed now. <laughs> and now we should be fine for the room up ahead. The room up ahead that we're preparing for is the uh, double Garador room. Bad luck always room for you. Oh 
Oh my dear lord, in the beast of doors. It sometimes it makes me wonder if camera manipulation in this game actually works or not. This room is usually pretty hell. Pretty hell of it. I am so glad we went back for the broken butterfly. <laughs> this room sucks. This room sucked in the original too. But like... At least it was a lot better. Because in the original, it was just two Gyaradors and six enemies. And Gyaradors in the original were really bad, and the six enemies were really easy to take care of. In this game, it is like two Gyaradors plus 60 enemies. <laughs> they just don't stop. This section also has a glitch that I don't know was fixed, but I also know is like, I, I don't know if it's impossible on console, but it is like tough. The hell? I don't know, we'll try it. Yo, this wasn't patched. <laughs> yeah, all the, like, nearly every single glitch was patched. I say nearly because, uh, obviously we got that out of bounds, but I didn't learn that out of bounds, so... We're not gonna use it. Yeah, apart from that one. I don't know if they can patch it. I mean, it would probably be easy. The whole reason why it works is because it disables collision for that specific part. All they have to do is add collision back. There we go. I, I kind of hope not to, but, uh, God, I don't want to say too much about the developers, because I know the developers are fans of speedrunning. It's more than likely the higher-ups that saw a lot of these glitches and were like, you gotta, you gotta patch them out, guys, you gotta patch it out, and kind of just made the developers patch them out. That, that happens a lot, actually. <laughs> Indie titles will like turn their speedrunning well, tech into, break. or like speedrunning bugs and glitches into actual features of the game, like Celeste. And then there are some devs, like uh, Halo Infinite, that were forced to patch out a lot of speedrunning stuff. I've got some new art. Welcome. Uh, because the I've higher ups don't want a broken game. 
Just plain and simple. Ruby's all rubbish. She makes. Thank you. Come. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Like the higher ups don't really care about speedrunning. They don't care about a lot of things about any community. Where you gonna put All they care about is pocket? like Oh boy, this could lose us a lot of money. Let's fix that. Oh I guess I don't need the rifle anymore. Not from this point forward. Not my place to say, really, but some pleasant travels. Yeah, higher ups just don't want a broken game. There are some thing, some cases where it's like, not even the higher ups can force the devs to do it, like uh. What happened with Cyberpunk and CJ Project Red? Project Red wanted to fix their game. They wanted more to delay it for more dev time, and the higher ups just wouldn't delay the game anymore. They basically forced the devs to uh, release an unfinished game, and then it failed massively. Even though it's fixed up now, it's still. Leaves a taste and a, a bad taste in everyone's mouth. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all gaming is now. It's a business model. Gaming is no longer about fun. Finally, some peace and quiet. It's not about fun anymore. It's all about making them dollar bills. Which sucks. Like, I like that gaming is as big as it is. It's really nice. At the same time, I genuinely hate how business is treated. Like, God. Back, I would say, even like PS3 era days, people would still, like, release games in a finished state. And then, like, nowadays, like, 90% of the games you see in the market aren't even half-finished. Like, 90% of them. It's that bad. And then gamers don't do anything about it. They're like, oh, man, we're sick and tired of these half-finished games. And then buy microtransactions and make make the companies gain billions of dollars. My god, Call of Duty is such a shithole. And then fucking they go and make like a billion bucks off of it. And it's like, oh well, I see why they don't finish it anymore. Why help me though? What's in it for you? I saw Hi-Fi Rush. I didn't play it yet. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Stranger. Yeah. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Oh, yeah. I don't have access to that right now. I don't have access to another uh, Easy, rocket launcher. Boy. Yeah. Like, for real, but, like, Got a select that's not the Anytime. average gamer, right? The average gamer doesn't care. They get home from work, a little hard for me to put my faith in someone and then they want to play a game. Used to work for Umbrella. And it doesn't matter to them if it's half-finished or not. 
All they know is they have 30 minutes to play a game before they have to deal with a kid. You didn't answer my question. What are you after? I just want to feel good about myself. Make amends. Or something like that. Although, I am genuinely confused. Like we've got company. Genuinely confused about the people who buy microtransactions. I understand most of them are probably kids or teenagers. Uh, early adults that just got like their first paycheck. But like, why would you buy something that you really, like really don't need? I know I'm saying that about video games, something that you don't need. But if it's a hobby, then it's like, of course you're going to buy games. It's a hobby. But then microtransactions, they can get more expensive than the game you bought. I can see that, but at the same time, <laughs> going by that logic, uh, people should already be donating to my streams, because I give them an incentive, but they don't, and I don't expect them to. Why would you buy money for, like, an Easter Bunny outfit for 30 bucks? if you're only going to use it twice. Also, I'm going back to get another Magnum. Welcome. What like, you can see I what I mean? Oh, yeah. You'll get some bang for your pussy, you have an Different eye. standard. Don't get yourself killed now. I mean, different standard, yes, but kind of same thing. Even comparing <laughs> just your average person like me to a billion dollar company, it's like, who needs the money more? You handle yourself pretty well. If you're going to pay money to stimulate the company and like pay the developers and support their you games sure you're just a researcher. and everything. I'm Why can't you do that with just about anything? Happens to be quite the ladies man. Why is that standard here? Not to like complain or anything. I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything for the people that actually come around and watch me. But you know. This other one's not gonna be easy. I'm sure you can get it. myself as an example just because I'm here <laughs> but I'm not doing this for money or anything well yeah I'm not putting blame on them for adding my transactions I'm putting blame on the gamers for buying shitty cosmetics Shitty microtransactions.
Like, there's some stuff that is definitely worth it. Some stuff. Like, I will admit to buying certain DLC. But, you know, that's DLC. That's extra content. That could be an added 10 hours to the game's lifespan. Why would you buy $30 for a bunny costume? <laughs> How's it look? You know what I'm saying? There. It's open. Why give companies money for uh, not completing games and then just fucking well, that was a pain. Both be Even mad at them for it. You're too. like, oh, I want this finished product. Here, and then... Bunny see, suit, gotta have it. Preserved <laughs> inside ancient deposits of ember. Of course they did. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. Do you see any <laughs> other way? And Call of Duty's very guilty about it. I'm usually using Call of Duty as my example here just because I'm the most experienced in it. Or you calling Sancho? I've been playing since like early Modern Warfare two days. Like that's there. like it's moving. This should speak it, it's got to be close to ten years if it's not ten years this. already. Hey, we're in a hurry, right? Oh, by the way. Actually, what now? Modern Warfare two I think rights. came out in two thousand nine. That's over a decade. Holy shit. I'm old. But like, you know, even like back then, the games weren't quote-unquote finished, but they were finished enough to like actively spend money in it and not feel bad about it. But nowadays, they're like, we pride ourselves about our historical accuracy. Also, here's this futuristic cosmetic. Oh, and uh, on top of that, it is 25 bucks. Uh, something that will expand the game for you. Which can range a lot of things. Like in the instance of Resident Evil 4, I bought the Deluxe Edition. As you can see, I'm using a Deluxe skin. But as someone who will play this game for over 100 hours, having different skins is a, a fucking godsend. But this game is also finished, it is very high quality, and I can very much advocate, be like, if you want to get the deluxe skin, deluxe skins, go for it, right? I can say that, because this game is fucking amazing, and it is completely finished. And then you go over Call of Duty, again, not finished. Like, you only have access to 20% of the game, and the other 80% will be, like, $200 later. Not. Things are just getting started. Call of Duty barely even comes with a campaign anymore. And back in the day, COD's campaign was, like, actually good. Like, very good. The entire Modern Warfare series... Even if 3 was a little lacking, 1 and 2 is still really good. All right. Let's go. Oh, not this again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In fighting games, adding a character is well worth the $5 to get it. Like, I have played Smash on my Switch, Smash Ultimate on my Switch, for 1400 hours. 1400. You really think I'm not going to buy a new character? That's like 
another 200 hours. Alright, cool. We like blue. of stuff like Smash and Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, they still gave us, like, a really healthy cast to play around and experiment with. Like, at no point can I say that the game is unfinished. Because at launch, it basically was finished outside of balancing issues. Uh, I, I pretty much already answered your question. <laughs> Like, they just end up giving us a big enough cast as is that even if they left the game alone, we'd be fine with them. We, we wouldn't need other characters. Is it nice? For sure. End of the line, asshole. Getting new characters is nice, but so long as the starting base roster is good enough and the game is finished outside of balancing issues, no issues. We would not need a DLC. Fighters would still be alive today, and Smash Ultimate would still be alive today, even if they didn't have DLC. I I wholeheartedly believe that. DLC characters only add longevity to the game. But if the game itself is not finished, and uh, these characters were like already 90% done by the time the launch of the game, you could have just added the characters. But the majority of DLC doesn't even get started working on until after the game. Unless you're Activision. Like, unless you're Activision. Because <laughs> then you force your employees to work on both DLC and the game at the same time. Release the game when, whenever it's convenient for them, by the deadline, whatever. And then DLC later. And then the total cost of the entire game is like 300 bucks. Like, I'm not paying 300 for a 20% of a game and then 80% cosmetics. It's not happening. That's kind of my takes on it. There are a lot of people out there that will disagree. Those are the people that are buying cosmetics. They're they're willing to spend 300 for a game that's half finished. Heck, it's the reason why I haven't even bought COD in like years. Are you being controlled by that cult? This has nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Too slow. Major, you're not thinking straight. Oh, my mind's clearer than it's ever been. Now focus. Show me what you got. Soldier like you. Why would you work for these freaks? Why? Uh, I've forgotten what happened to you. <laughs> Almost died to Krauser. <laughs> Operation Javier. You killed us all. Without honor. Without mercy. Only devastating power. Looking too steady. 
<laughs> yeah, and Nintendo's getting really bad about it too. I rag on Activision, I rag on Blizzard. God, Nintendo is starting to become one of the worst companies of our modern era. You won't like, I will say, closer. like, Nintendo doesn't like to support its communities. And that was, like, really painfully obvious with Smash. But, uh, and then Smash ended up needing out, like, 80% of its fucking content creators for uh, being terrible people, so... You know, I'm a little bit more sympathetic for Nintendo on that one. Just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo Ninjas, definitely. I swear the ninjas just kind of act on their own. But yeah, like, the Smash community at least... Fine, I'll give them a pass. But then the Smash Melee community... Because Ultimate and uh, Melee have two separate different communities. Melee's community has not only been pretty healthy but relatively controversy free take a look welcome Ooh, what you buy relatively it's not perfect but well definitely struck. better than what ultimate <laughs> just went through i see you having a cup back any time and that game is like over 20 years old they're not selling the game anymore they they should just kind of start supporting that community there's the clock instead tower. they shut down the tournaments that are using a modification that allow people to play online something melee never did also hello again Sox the fox don't mind me running into walls while i'm trying to read i i would argue no Shit. Ultimate is on the ropes because they're not banning characters. Like, Kazuya and Steve should have been banned a long time ago. They are not healthy for any metagame. What has happened so far? I'm going through on standard without saving. Hopefully deathless as well. Game has crashed. At least once. I've had to reload autosaves twice. That's about it. Standard playthrough so far. Should have been banned ages ago. Bruh. Next. You. Like I don't even think Steve is that broken. I think people just don't know how to approach him slash don't want to. But like Kazuya, Kazuya straight has like 50 infinites in the entire game. And people are like, yeah, this is fine. This is competitively viable. When it is like the most toxic stuff. But then you got like Steve and like, Steve and is pretty much comparable to Sonic. They just camp the edges of the stage and just be like, eh. 
once you learn how to deal with them, they're not that bad. But people are taking Steve to, like, the whole new level. And then people are like, oh, Kazi is fine. He's slow. He has weaknesses. People just need to learn how to play against him. You know how you play against him? You run away. Why is Steve so fucking good? Because he beats Kazuya. That's why. <laughs> also, thank you, Fox. I very much enjoy uh, how this came out. Okay. Okay. Large sight's bugging now. That's a known bug. Who else on the roster is okay? Just about everyone on the roster is okay. There's not that many bands. We just need to ban Steve and Kazuya because people are taking them. To the extreme. Shit, my body armor. Sorry, let's take it. very confused of what just happened. <laughs> the enemy just kind of glided over, and then he just jumped off the lift. <laughs> Excuse me, but what? <laughs> oh, here he is. You paved him. Like, for real. I'm not the only one who saw that, right? He, for real, just like glided over to the lift and then jumped off the lift. Buster. Could you take a shield? No. You cannot pick up other things on the ground, or like other weapons. If you could take a shield, it'd be actually pretty nice. Also, yes, there is a reason why I'm walking. If you run, you die. <laughs> Simple as that. I get that I am point blank and I'm just not attacking them, whatever.
Ooh, heavy grenade drop. That's nice. Let's see if we keep it. And so. Time to lose. <laughs> it's normally a lot more annoying, but for whatever reason, throwing a golden egg in his face stuns him and depletes 70% of his HP. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but I love it. <laughs> yes, run equal death. At least on that particular section. Krauser. Where do you think you're taking her? Oh my god. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> that was bad, even for me. <laughs> I still laughed, so it's a good pun. But dear lord. We're coming up on the uh, island here. Perfect. Won't have to island after is all. the quickest section of the entire game. Like, RE4, even in the original, was actually pretty finished, pretty solid. Not that many bugs or glitches. But it was definitely rushed, and island is the antithesis of that. But, uh... They, they pretty much kept it almost identical. Oh, darn. We don't have any normal grenades, so... We can still do fast strats, we just can't do faster strats. And I'm gonna have, go ahead and grab a rifle. The Easter egg hunt, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and visit the merchant that is, for some reason, all the way back here. I've got some new. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. We want to get rid of Broken I'll Butterfly, and I have not used the TMP once. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just buy this back. That cash in your pocket, I'll hand this over when you've got the space. First item, yep. Wish your enemies sweet dreams from afar with the bullets right through their heads. <laughs> and I'm just gonna upgrade Try that these. on the side. That. There you right. come back. I'm Batman. Okay. So, small explanation here. Uh, these turrets right here, they will shoot anything that crosses them, including enemies. So, uh, and they also don't have piercing. So we can get an enemy to walk in front of the turrets. Uh, they can essentially body block for us. All right. Interactive environment, yeah. The only problem with uh, this fast strat is that uh, it's a little inconsistent. Even though I've been able to get it like, several times in a row, 
Alright, laser sight is just forever bugged out right now. Well, we need to get close enough so that he, this guy can aggro onto us. Please. Come on. Yes. Yo! Fast traps. Well, no heals. Yeah, for as uh, consistent as that is, that is very inconsistent. <laughs> Even like speedrunners can't get that 100% of the time. Despite the fact it's complete manipulation. It depends on the type of zombie. This is where they keep Ashley. Like, if we had like an outbreak, like a zombie apocalypse, and we had like walking dead zombies that are literally brain dead, I, I feel like the majority of us would be completely fine. And then there's like the Resident Evil zombies. Where uh, literally none of us would survive. Literally none. <laughs> God, okay. We're gonna trigger an autosave here in a second. Because uh, the laser dot sight is uh, actually bugged right now. There's no dot, it's just laser. And that makes it a million times harder to actually play the game. But it should be fixed by just simply aiming down sight, or simply reloading. Yeah, there it is. It's fixed, okay. Country had an hour long purge every five years. Uh, I would be dead. Point and simple. I have the worst luck out of anybody in the fucking world. <clears throat> Obviously, not true. I was definitely very fortunate to have been born into the United States. But then, like... God, you guys have seen my luck. It's not good. they did it statewide it doesn't matter I have made a lot of enemies over the years and the only reason why I they haven't killed me is uh, because laws exist if those laws were just temporarily taken away I would be immediately targeted
All right, cool. I was about to sit here and say you guys are gonna see just how stupid I am. I've never learned these puzzles. Not to say that I'm like necessarily bad at them. I just don't like taking a long time. So I get frustrated on them because I'm just like, let me get through this. By the way, you're gonna see these regenerators. Oh man, they're scary and they're disgusting. But man, why are they so caked up though? <laughs> What's that a zombie? Yeah, it's called regenerators. Shit, again? Why, bro? Why are you so cake? <laughs> it's taking so long. They're not really all that threatening. Even on Braille, they're not that threatening. about me just missing the easiest shots known to mankind I can't remember what he said other than to be polite and be respectful to your enemies by shooting them in the head. That's what it is. Be polite, be efficient. Luckily for me, I'm very polite, but I'm not very efficient. <laughs> I don't plan anything. <laughs> Here. 
Yeah, normally for this room, it's uh, really, really easy. Because with the help of the scope, you just put yourself in a corner, and it confuses all the enemies because you're, like, pushed halfway inside the wall. But now, you can't do that. So now you actually got to do that room just semi-legit. I say semi because all you have to do is jog around the room. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Team 2, I I love that game. I didn't play much of it, especially in its prime. Uh, I only got into it in like recent years. And I did not play it until like just last year. <laughs> and despite the fact that they have a ton of bot issues, it's fun. I like it. just got it on Steam yet. Yeah. I think I put in like 25 hours into it, but I don't it. think I'll be playing more of it Duh. until uh, Valve decides to fix all the bot issues. I need you to open it from the other side. Because the only way to fix, or like the only way to experience the game is through, uh, it's through community servers. But, uh, you know, I'm still learning the game, so obviously I'm going to be bad. I don't know. I'm pretty much a master of a lock. Proper anything. <laughs> I have some new goods that might interest. So whenever I go into community servers, I end up getting kicked for just being bad. Also, they fixed the skip too. Which sucks, I didn't even get to display it on stream. Yeah, oh, Ashley's back. Yeah, no big deal. Be careful. Yeah. At least she has armor, so she's not a pain to deal with. Suplex. I come up here and tell Ashley, Ashley to hold this. Okay. So it'll open a door. Maybe we can come over and get Ashley. Surely nothing will happen. Oh, oh no! I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I'm like, you know, let's go through this door that's not open. You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. Good. 
They're serious. Bro, why are you so bulky? Perfect time to use flash grenade. This is gonna be bright. Why wouldn't I be able to? <sighs> Smells pretty bad. You okay? Yeah. Before this one killed me, though. Are you talking about because it was dark? <laughs> yeah. That is with brightness turned up, by the way. Okay. We go at the same time. Yeah, okay. Yeah! Stay here. Got yeah, you know, just so you know, if you think that this game is dark, this is with brightness up. Like... Is this what? Yeah. Look at that brightness. It was... All the way down here. This, this is like the default. I had to turn it up like way over here, just to even be fucking playable. So much health. Instant death, yeah, okay. I did not know that. Huh. Wait here. Okay. That is something I was very much not aware of. never been killed by them like that before. Back. Bring it, you freaking monster. <laughs> Ashley, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's already dead. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm good. <laughs> monster, dying. Bring it, you freaking monster. 
Okay. <laughs> Get this for me. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at this stuff. Apparently, she's really good at that. Are you guys good at turning wheels? Can you guys turn a wheel? Actually. There is a mice side quest here. However, usually not worth doing. Especially with the speed that you have to go here. Such a drama queen. Give me a break already. Excuse you. I have something I think you like. Um <sighs> actually we need the boot knife. I was gonna discard it, but we kind of need it. Okay. You got some fish in our inventory. Some fishies. Welcome. Got some rare crossing your T's, dotting your I. Where would it come? Welcome. Okay. Does he have rocket launcher right now? He does. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like thinking, do I need this ever again? I don't think I do. Welcome. I got something new for you. I think I am done with the sniper no period. Price. Well, the, ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Let us know when you've made some room. You're gonna miss the rocket launcher. It comes back. Oh, well, it'll come back when we need it. Not my place to say where you come. But we're definitely going to want it for the upcoming Krauser fight. Back anytime. My hero. Hope you join them. Are you leaving? It's nice to have you around. Oh, you're going to eat it yet. <laughs> I didn't read that one. Yeah, you know, you're fine.
Wrecking Ball skip. Wrecking Ball sucks. That section of the game. Did you see me? That was awesome. Even if they patched out the glitch strat, the glitch skip, can't speak. I am so glad they have dev intended ones. Almost at the end of the game, though. Krauser, then Chopper Mike, and then Sadler. And then we'll have Standard done without saving. Thank you. You know, I... I was thinking. <sighs> we work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the U.S. from also, any and all threats. I thought that I was gonna do standard right. and hardcore. Well, either way, because I wanted to do a longer stream. To make it out of here. I, uh, I think after we're done with That's this run, funny. we're just gonna be done. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I just woke up, started streaming. <laughs> And I would rather not eat on stream just because, I mean, this isn't my life. It's just a hobby. Sadler, you bastard. Uh, I hope the gold medals are good. I don't know what they mean. But sure. Yeah, guaranteed heavy grenade spawn, shotguns. Alright. Crouser shouldn't be too difficult either. Especially when we, once we grab the killer seven here. Stranger, welcome. What can I interest you in? By Killer Seven. Where are you gonna put this? Your pocket? Where are you gonna put this? Your pocket? Damn, I don't have that many places for it. Interestingly, interestingly enough, just like, I do not have space for this. Back any time. Not talking this much. You don't have to. Uh... As much as I love having people to talk to, and I feel like I probably shouldn't be streaming alone if I end up doing it more, uh, I, I just kind of hope that we can have like a little chill stream. Just chill. It doesn't have to be energetic 100% of the time. What's wrong? Show no mercy! What was that? Flashbang. You better hustle. Who knows what's become of the girl? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't have to talk nearly as much, but I definitely feel pressured to talk a lot. Even if I, in particular, don't really even have to. The gameplay can speak for itself sometimes, but I feel like this game's really quiet. If you're not here for, like, decently skilled gameplay, then you're here for decent gameplay plus a little bit of personality. And, uh, if I'm not given personality, why would you watch? You barely made it out alive! Go with your gut, don't think. That was the first thing you taught me. Flashbang. I feel like something I would like to do more often too. Probably just uh stream rhythm games. I mean the my early streams were just FNF, so Friday Night Funkin'. But it mean I didn't have to talk. I could just focus on playing. But my PC is terrible. If I want to have, like, my little avatar on me, I literally just cannot... Not play on PC. I admit you've done well to stay like this long. I'd be dead if I kept listening to people like you. Uh oh. Don't last long moving like that. The Reaper comes for cowards and careless alike. What are you? My inventory is so I don't know. full. It's the last one I've seen. Well, you really got all out for me. You shouldn't have. You passed with blind colors. Even from metal. Oh, Krauser. Such a drama queen. This is it, soldier! Have much help this time. You've lost it completely, Krauser. So that's your true power? Oh, I'd ask for a refund. And don't feel pressure to talk. Or send anything. You can stay silent and chat and just watch. Just knowing that I have people watching me helps out a lot. I can't wait to see you ride. And bike ride. First chapter. Just period. Oh, 
Alright, we can sell Killer 7 and the Beetle. What can I do? We don't need them anymore. <laughs> Thank you. I'll buy a Bet first aid. Even though I kind of don't need heals at this point. Ooh, I have two heavies. Nice, nice. That'll be helpful. Pleasant travels. Keep saying this is definitely one of the worst sections in the game. It's also one of the most concentration <laughs> intensive. Especially one room in particular. Chopper Mike is going to tell us to take a break. Nope, we're just going to run head first into danger. some of these grenades to good use. Not even close. Okay. Not even nervous. Once in my life. Oh man. For once. Good RNG. Yeah, woo! Get in! 
Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. I don't oh my god, he knows a good bar. But he's dead. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. We definitely want to be careful here. There are two regenerators that spawn in this room, and normally you could just clip straight through the doors to make this section not even slightly difficult. Right. Tried to parry the viper. But uh, we definitely don't want to be spawning either of these regenerators. We got rid of our scope, so we can't really deal with them too easily. Okay. That one didn't spawn. If we happen to fail this, th no big deal. And we're fine. Give me more flashes. Flashes will be helpful if we happen to can't get fast strats here. Okay. Ooh, you have a stench of battle. Almost there. I'm coming. Zero viewers. You guys have been missed. <laughs> Everyone doubts my fast strats. That's it. They had a reason to doubt my fast strats. To be fair, this is also a lot harder now that we don't have scope. Normally we could just uh, clip our ways into a wall to confuse enemy AI and make this rather consistent. I'm coming. And now it's not. Now it's pretty luck based. Vistadors are attacking me instead of grabbing me. Literal RNG. <laughs> Going up with my chat box. Or is my chat frozen? Surely my chat isn't frozen. And that was the chat box which is just going crazy. There we go. Body armor's not looking great. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll refresh the chat here. No, that's fine. 
I don't know, that chat box is just kind of fucking weird. Ashley! Still Ashley. more. Ashley. Alright. And now my chat is blank. Laboratory B. Looks like it's this way. I might have to end stream after this regardless, <laughs> just to fix things. I mean, I was already gonna end stream after this run, just due to me being super hungry. And I want to do something else. But like, now everything's bugging out on me. I was so distracted on chat, and my chat box just destroying itself. I wanted to complain about this that they fixed. So there was a glitch in this game that if you went out of bounds and then respawned back in, this entire section would be like three times faster. But now every single time you play this, you have to play this slow and sluggishly. Like, yeah, that, that emo socks the fox, uh, I don't see that on my chat. I don't know if it's just because YouTube chat just, like, I don't know, shadow banning these things. But chat box still picking it up for him. I don't know. Well, I saw the test. So all of this, removing the, the chat box on screen is gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. like horribly decent We're now. Alive. Thanks to him. Yeah, see. You getting good at that. Right. This is horribly decent. Sure you're okay. Oh, never been better. Good. Look at this place. That woman who helped us. Sure, she's fine. Yeah, see that one. She's not the type. And to that one appeared that easy. near instantly, but like, like you know well. I don't know. Hey, wait, Leon. Yeah. Definitely saw the game just like unrender <laughs> like half the map. Oh, breaks welcome. What can I interest you in? Yes, indeed. Stranger, Ooh, not my place to say. We might want to take care of it. We don't need Better guns where we're going. Before going. Eradicated. I will give you such. Oh! Uh... Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not me. 
It's you. Now we dodge for like a minute. No shooting required. section right here it's definitely a, like a resident Evil 5 thing resident Evil 5 thing there's tentacles everywhere super epic music and then nothing is happening <laughs> that's a resident Evil 5 thing okay let's get out of here yeah i hope to god that they fucking remake re5 we're not out of here yet. It's like one of the more controversial titles. Because if there's no horror, it is only action. It is an action game through and through. But it is incredible. Especially with friends. <laughs> They're not a tank. Nothing What's going on? Down. It's over for them. What's going on? All right. Not bad, Ada. All right. You like drill bikes? Jet ski. See, I see that one too. I could have been spending a lot of this cash on upgrades and I still would have been fine. No saving. You S plus. Really are the best. Terrible time. Terrible. <laughs> Three hours, twenty minutes. It should not have been that long. Well, that's where I'm gonna end it. And thank you for coming out, as always. <sighs> See you later.